here from crown of elegance welcome back to my channel and thank you guys for tuning in so today we are going to learn how to do a four bar envelope i have to make a series of these for my business and i decided to show you guys how to do one so i'm going to be using my one two three punch board and the first thing that you would need is the envelope guide that comes with the machine on the envelope guide at the top you will see card size paper size and punch guide we just pull out the part that says four bar so I'm just going to look for the four bar and use the information that is there so for the four bar envelope we are going to need a paper size that is seven and a quarter inches by seven and a quarter inches and the punch guide measurement is located at three and one eight. So we're going over to the part that has the score and the measurements. And the first thing that you do is cut your paper to size, which would be seven and a quarter by seven and a quarter. It's square. And then we line up the left edge at the punch guide measurement, which is three and one eighths of an inch. And using the scorer, I'm just going to do a score line at the envelope line, which is marked A. After which, I'm just going to punch. Be careful with this punch, it's a bit difficult. And then the next step would be to rotate the paper 90 degrees counterclockwise and line up the score line. And then score again at score line A. And then punch. I'm just going to do this for the other two sides in order to complete the rectangle. And I'm just showing you what the score line looks like. So you'll notice that you will have four clear score lines. And I just like to burnish over the fold on these score lines. So you just see me punching out my notches and going over my score lines to make sure that I can see them properly. So these are the four notches that you would see after you punched it using the one to three punch board. I love this little gadget. It's very handy and it makes envelope making pretty easy. So I'm just going to move that out of the way. And I also like to round the top of my envelopes. You can round all four corners, but I like to do the two long sides and what you see me doing here is burnishing all my score lines where you see the bump in the paper after we scored I fold over it so that I can eliminate any creasing in the paper because I'm making these envelopes using 110 pound. I like to use sturdy cardstock to do my envelopes. So I've burnished all four corners. And on one of the sides, there's a little peak. I usually leave it, but you can cut it off. And I also use my rounder, if I have my rounder on hand, to round those edges. But in this case, I'm going to use the punch bone because it has a paper rounder. And I'm going to round those edges. So I'm just bringing it back in the machine. And at the top, where you see the blue measurements, that's the paper rounder. So I'm just going to round the two long sides of the envelope now using my ATG gun I'm just going to seal the sides of the envelope 
to complete the look. I'm just closing the envelope here and it's simple as that. And there you have it guys, a perfect 4 bar envelope. Made from 110 pound cardstock. So that's it guys, thanks for watching.